Good morning and welcome back to the button. Today, that video, I'm going to show how I took a, a sail and cut it down and um, made a, a jib for my Compact 16. Uh, the sail that I cut down was a brand new sail, um, a nice sail, it was just too big. Um, the luff of the sail actually was, was um, pretty close to the right length for a Mark II uh, Compact 16. Um, but it was just, the foot of the sail was just massively too big. So anyway, I cut it down and re-sewed it and, uh, and made a, um, basically a 110% uh, jib. Uh, in retrospect, I wish I had a cut it to a 135, but I'm still real pleased with how it turned out. Uh, and upwind performance is really good with it. But this one um, did real well. I tried it out one time so far, and it did uh, real well pointing. So what I've got here is a new sail that has um, the luff length is, is okay for uh, Compact 16 Mark II, um, but the foot of the sail is like extremely large. It would, uh, but what I'm going to do, at least what I'm going to try to do, is cut it down, and it's, I mean, it's, it's, it's too big of a sail for me, for that boat, it's just way too big. Um, and I've already measured my, and I've got a mark right here that I'll be going to, um, so I'm gonna be cutting off a pretty good chunk of sail. But I think that the way the sail is cut, that it'll be okay. Um, I'm gonna cut it, and then I'm gonna use the same ripper and take off that leech line edge, and then, and also these uh, reinforcing patches here, and re sew all that back here and up that leech uh, line here. Uh, put it all that together. Um, done. I've got a five pound weight on the corners, just kind of holding it out kind of straight. <clears throat> and then I just pulled this, this piece of cord here uh, down that leech to see how much they had that, that you know, cut in, because it's got like a little bit of an in sweep, which is typical of a sail. Uh, it looks like they've got about two inches, so whenever I come back over here and pull a straight line here, you know, I'll, I'll curve that in toward the forestay, you know, inch and a half or two inches. Uh, that way you, you don't get the uh, flutter in the leech line and, and the, you know, that trailing edge of the sail. You, you can control your flutter a little better. There is a, a little bit of a Deadly in the sail, although the sail is actually somewhat flat. Um, but that's what I'm going to try to do. Got that string weighted there. And the height of the sail is okay. So I'm going to uh, you know, maintain that so I don't want to mess up that top eye uh, grommet. So now I'm going to just sight down this and get it like I want it. Get it straight first of all. And then I'm going to go you know, just somewhere roughly halfway and I'm going to put me some marks where this line is straight just as a reference if I need it I'm going to come in here halfway and measure over um, which in three quarters. Okay, so that's where I'm wanting it to curve to. Now, this line is heavy enough to where it just kind of kind of lays where I want it.
and looks like a relatively fair curve. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to put me a series of marks just to the outside of that line so that I don't interfere with it. I've got a series of marks about every six inches or so. And now I'm going to use a batten. It's fairly flexible here. Just use that flexible batten to mark that slight curve. It went long enough to go all the way through, so I'll move it down and then try to blend it back in again to that same curve. Okay, so now there's my cut line. Little five pound weights come in handy. So now I'm going to just look down the line to make sure it looks fair. And it, it looks pretty good. Uh, one spot right in here that looks a little, a little bit off. Not terrible. But I think I can. Yeah, that should work. So now, you can cut that with the scissors or I guess a hot knife either one. I may use a hot knife to seal that edge. I have made racing sails for small day sailors to where I just literally just cut it with the hot knife and didn't even put any, any kind of reinforcing or tape or anything on it to keep them lightweight. And uh, you can make a pretty, pretty good, really super crazy lightweight sail that way. And if you get everything just right, where it doesn't flutter and all, um, it makes a fast sail. But this one is going to be, like I said, I'm going to unstitch that leech line and bring it over and put it here. And then reinforce that corner here with all those patches here. And then set a new grommet, which I'll have to order. I don't have any grommets that big. Now I'm going to put a, a hard uh, panel underneath this sail so I won't burn the floor under that line and uh, use my hot knife um, with a foot on it for cutting fabric and this is called an edge from Sailrite and it works really good. I use it mostly for cutting lines and singeing the ends. Um, Before I get to the very end, I'm going to have to take my seam ripper and take that leash line uh, off right at the end so I can finish making my cut. And I'll keep this little bit of clean new cell cloth here in case I need to make any kind of a patch or anything in the cell. Um, that will come in handy, possibly. Okay, I've got the 
got that leaf line cut loose up there at the top so I can finish cutting this through. Okay, last inch or so I'm going to need to trim with scissors or razor knife or something. This is a thick the hot knife is cutting it, but uh, I'm afraid I might accidentally cut that leech line fabric, so I'm going to do that last couple of inches with the scissors. Okay, now I've got the, the long, tedious job of uh, cutting the stitches in front of this leech line, so that's going to take a little while. I'm just using just a regular old seam ripper and uh, going down the stitches. And you can uh, rip the fabric up and be not careful. Doing this too. And if you're hot and sweaty, you're going to get your fabric dirty, your, your cell cloth dirty. Which is one of the reasons I'm doing it inside. Because the air conditioner's on. And here at the clue, uh, you'll see the, the leech line comes out and it's just like a little jam clue, little plastic nylon um, jam cleat where you can tension that or loosen it or whatever and then lock it in. Uh, and it's uh, riveted in with some bronze uh, rivets. So I have to drill those out or, or tap them out. Um, and then I'll have to just reset them with some rivets. Um, and then like I said, I have to replace this eye here at the end, uh, which I don't have one that big. So I make an order. So I've got just a little bit more of uh, this to cut out. And then I'm going to take all these patches off right here and just reduce them. Put them right back. And it just tapers out, you know, from a single layer, a double layer, a triple layer, a you know, quad layer, and then five layers right in the corner. And it just spreads out the, the pressure on the sail when the wind picks up. Okay, so that's all loose except for those little rivets I've got to drill out. So what I'm doing now, I'm using double-sided tape, or basking tape, basking tape, and I've taken that patch that I cut off and I'll put it back into the corner here, and I cut off this seam at the foot and tucked it under, and then I used the double-sided tape just to hold everything together uh, back, and now I'm using double-sided tape to hold this leech line uh, in place and what I'm doing to start with is just just putting the double-sided tape in place all the way down on one side only And then I'll peel the tape off of it and then I'll lay that out and get it nice and straight And then I'll flip the sail over I'll put the leech line cord in and then take the other side Yeah, it's going to be hard to see, I'm sure, but right here, I started right here and I cut out this, the, the threads and I put a about a 3 8 inch dart. In other words, I took this panel and pulled it this way, 3 8 of an inch here to nothing out here, just to, to pull that together a little bit to get rid of a little bit of that belly that was out here on that 
uh, leach edge uh, from, from cutting out so much of the cell out. And I went ahead and did it now uh, before I tape it all together and sew it just to make it a little bit easier. So and right now I'm getting ready to, uh, to tape this side together. I've got my double-sided tape in here and I've got the uh, cords uh, just double-sided taped in right there so it won't slip on me. And this right here just gets tucked in, tucked back in there like that as you tape it. And then at the foot of the sail, on the leech edge, down toward the foot of the sail, it, the, the line just comes out of a hole to the outside. And then this little uh, deal right here, which is just a little, kind of like a little jam cleat, gets riveted on right there. And that's where that line exits. And then I'll put the, um, my eye down here. And you can see from the back side there, the reinforcing panel that I've put in and that'll get stitched multiple places. Well, I'm gonna to try to record some of this. Um, what I've done, I've taken a sail that was larger than I needed for my boat, and I've cut it down to, to make uh, a, a sail that would be for this um, Compact 16. This would be a, a Mark II version sail because I've raised my forestay. Um, and I've got it all cut and taped together, and I've just got to sew it. Uh, I'm using an old uh, Singer uh, 457G115 machine. It's a zigzag machine. It's really old. Um, it, it works good most of the time, but I'm using that uh, um, the number that 92 thread, which is uh, uh, a UV resistant, you know, exterior polyester thread, I believe it is, uh, and it's pretty large. Well, so there you go. There's one side song. I gotta do the the bottom of the foot there where I had taken a little bit of that part, and then I gotta do that little dart. Um, and then I got to sew the, uh, uh, the leech line up at the top um, and then just look it over and see if there's anything else I've missed. But I, that's, that's the bulk of it right there. That went pretty smooth. <laughs>